What's up, everyone? This is Dan Rosé. Welcome to my channel. You saw the thumbnail, so you know exactly why you're here, okay? I bring a unique commentary to all things reality TV and anything going on on social media, to be honest. So uh, today I have a variety of subjects to get through. So we're going to get started. But before we do, please hit the like, subscribe, and your notification bell. That is how others find me here on YouTube. And thank you to all of you for watching my videos and for rocking with me. I truly appreciate it. So let's get started on the first story. Uh, I told you I have a variety of subjects, but they're all juicy. So let's get to the first one. Uh, we're going to start with Real Housewives of New Jersey cast, Melissa and Joe Goodice. And that is because Bravo, for the first time in history, has put a gag order on the entire cast. He said, basically, Andy or whomever in charge over there said, y'all need to hush, keep all them wars off of social media, keep it with the show. We don't want any issues or problems, which says to me there may have been something big that went down on uh, the show this season. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all remember Love and Marriage Huntsville uh, had something similar. It was just a pact, though. It wasn't a gag order. It was a pact or a promise between the group not to discuss the season. I think that was last season. Um, and then Melody came out and said it was Marceau who broke the truce. Uh, she was like, he was the first to break it. So um, they have all, you know, calmed their nerves. Uh, not a whole lot has been out there amongst the cast anyway. Um, so it looks like they are sticking to it this time. But I want you to hear what Melissa um, had to say. For the first time ever in 13, uh, oh, okay. Bravo for the first time ever in 13 years since, you know, all of us, every single one of us. So if you guys notice that we are not reposting fan accounts, we are not allowed <laughs> and we are not allowed to, um, the whole cast is not allowed. I kind of like us. it. I love it. We're not allowed Fine. to really discuss the show other than approved pictures we're allowed to post. So this is like the first time ever that this has happened to us. And it's just so weird this year. Everything's different. Something, and like, different, you know. Yeah, but. just everything's just like different but, but but don't believe everything you hear on social media believe and almost on, zero and this year okay so i just wanted to play that because i thought that was interesting and now i'm kind of curious if other networks are going to follow suit um to make sure that the storylines are protected and you know it doesn't create a lot of drama and you know things like that so y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments because y'all know that uh like i say it these shows typically use social media to push or promote the season. And now Bravo's like, we're not doing that here. So just kind of curious. Uh, the next story up is Tisha and Marceau. It looks like that uh, relationship panel where they said they were the blueprint for a healthy relationship. That's going to drop on April 3rd on Fox Soul. That is the Chate Ministry Panel. This is also the same panel where Tisha, we got that excerpt where Tisha said she gets up at 4 a.m. She sets that alarm clock so she can wake and shake Marceau. And listen, everybody was cracking up. Marceau was like, I don't know who this is. Now you've started an argument because I don't know who Tisha is waking up at that early in the morning. Either way, uh, we'll get to hear the rest of that uh, coming up soon. Y'all know that I'm going to cover it. Um, what else? Tisha made this post earlier today that I thought was interesting, wanted to share with y'all. Now, we have heard Tisha say, I think since season one, episode one, that she does not have to work, that her man has five jobs, okay? That comes from Everybody Hates Chris, but her man takes care of everything. Uh, we've heard that a couple of times. In fact, Tisha spends so much of Mar Marceau's hard-earned money that he had to take a trip to Africa by himself, right? Um, either way, y'all, she posted this from Los Angeles Confidential, and he said, I want my woman to have the option to work if she wants for her own independence. But no, if she doesn't, I got us 100%. And Tisha said, come on, options, hashtag me, okay? So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Tisha said that repeatedly. Um, I've heard it at least three or four times. I've heard her say that she doesn't have to work and she thanks God for having a husband who takes care of everything, even though we know the storyline that's coming up this season is her being kicked off of a Skult or kicked out of Skult, okay? So- Y'all let me know what y'all think about that uh, in the comments. 
Okay. And if, do you think she's trying to get ahead of the story again, even on the Shea ministry panel, she said the reason why she wakes up so early to take care of Marcel is because she has businesses. That was one of the things she said. And she's also been showing uh, the construction for her real estate office or brokerage office. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments, please. And thank you. Um, next up, we're still talking about them, y'all. Y'all remember this picture? If you watch my review of DC on Saturday, you would have seen this happen, right? Use your imagination. I've also posted it to my community page on Facebook as well as IG. Um, but I said that Irena had set up a swallowologist to come and meet with them and help spice things up. Uh, y'all can use y'all imagination for what y'all think could be happening there. Uh, but the swallowologist, her name is Inessa Humpert. She actually got on or under that post on, I believe, Jamie's page. And she said, I loved working with you two. So open and willing to take risk. Bravo. Okay. But child, look at this. Marso brought himself over there talking about Inessa. Hey, um, your services have been requested in Huntsville. And then he said, Carlos will provide the details. Now, is he saying that Tisha isn't waking this man up? Is he still laying there on snooze? Tisha, what is happening? That is crazy to me, getting up that early for nothing. Anyway, Marso also said, just to let you know, I'm not saying one damn joke. He means every bit of it, okay? Even though Satan has told me several, I want credit for being mature. Y'all, a mess, okay? He's a mess. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, okay? Uh, what else do I have up for y'all? I have this. This is Portia and Ken. They have made up, and a lot of you have been talking about it on my uh, community page. I said, look, these two have made up. Portia actually said she extended an olive branch uh, when the two of them were at Candy's daughter's birthday party. That's how they reunited. She said, since she's been off the show, she's been in good spirits and she realized that all that stuff is just show madness. It has nothing to do with who they are right now. So she said that they were good. They are good right now. Uh, I also reported that Andy said, uh, excuse me, Andy, Cohen said Portia can return to RHOA whenever she feels like it. In fact, he told her that he always thought her leaving RHOA was simply a pause, but uh, whenever she's ready, she can. And in fact, when she, when she was asked if she's ready, she said, um, all I can say at this moment is never say never. So they are definitely going to give gear up to send her a contract for season 16, where a season 15 is about to drop. Um, Andy's response to her saying never say never was right answer, right answer. Hmm. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Kenya has already come out ahead of the season. I, I think just a month or two ago where she said real housewives season 15 is not hitting. She said, it's not good. I'm just going to put it out there. We, I don't think it's that great. So, and she also started making requests for other people to come back. Like Nini would help make the show stronger, things like that. Even though we know that's probably kaput for Nini, for Nini but it is not kaput for um, Portia. And there was a whole bunch of rumors out there that Portia had burned her bridges, uh, burned the bridge with Bravo. And that's not true. Not true at all. And I actually reported that on my channel last year. I said that Andy had gotten into Portia's comment. That was actually where he said, this is just a pause. You can return anytime. And um, yeah, Portia definitely made sure that he repeated it. For all the people out there who didn't think it would, it was possible. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. The next story up is Cynthia Bailey, y'all. She has been seen filming uh, on the set of Beverly Hills. So um, we know she's going to come back in season 16 of RHOA as a friend of, but it looks like she's going to be a friend of somebody, hopefully Garcelle, on their show, on the Beverly Hills show. Um, Garcelle needs some backup. I'm telling you right now, I watch that show. I don't review it because it can be a little heavy for me, uh, being that there's only one of us on the show. But uh, I want to see what it's going to look like with Cynthia on there. I think it's going to still be too prim and proper. Um, even though it's not a prim and proper show, let me just say that there's a lot of craziness, a lot of um, 
substance abuse and things like that that happened on that show. It's just not stuff that I know about enough to, to talk about it. So anyway, I will be talking about it if Cynthia's on. I'll put it like that. Um, let's see what else I was going to tell you. Oh, yeah. This lady, her name is Janelle Steffens um, or Stevens. She is the one who does Camille Rose hair products. She was also on RHOA. So I did want to say, even though they brought in new bodies, her being one of them for season 15, um, Kenya said it wasn't hitting like that. So mm. uh, what else to talk about? New Orleans, baby. Bravo is about to bring, uh, or at least they're asking, they're sending out a casting call for New Orleans Housewives. They're hoping to get b-ball players specifically, uh, Housewives of b-ball players. And that call went out yesterday um, for people that may be interested in filming. I asked you guys if y'all thought this would be a good idea. I pulled you on both Facebook, that's my private group, and on IG. Uh, the ones on IG, it was close, 50-50. 50% said, mm -mm, we don't want to see it. 50% said, yeah, that's going to pop. Um, there was a large majority of people on Facebook, though. The Facebook cr crowd is different from any other crowd, but the Facebook crowd said, we want to see it. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Now, next up is Miss Melody Cherie, you guys. Um, she made a post this morning that I want to read for you. And I also have some audio for you that I'm going to play in just a moment. But she posted this picture. She said was done by Boss Baby. It says, Mom is the best. And she said, Malia, a.k.a. Boss Baby, drew this and left it on my dresser before they left for school. I'm sharing to encourage all of my working moms out there, especially if you're having to go harder because of the choices that others put you through um, and the position that you're now in, your children can see you. They love you. They appreciate you working hard to secure their futures. And you can be a working woman and an amazing mother at the same time. Clap. Okay. At the same damn time. Clap. That's how she put it. She said, keep your head up, sis, and don't get discouraged. We are rooting for you. Um, and we're rooting for you too, Miss Melody, okay? Uh, and I say that because we all know uh, that a lot of people support Melody and totally understanding watching her, the you know, the demise of her relationship, demise of her relationship, the breakdown of that, and having to rebuild herself, leaving without anything, right? Um, not the beds for her kids, clothes, stuff like that, having to start from scratch completely and even then still helping her ex with the light bills and who knows God what else in order for him to present as a father who is protecting his children and keeping his children. And we all know what is going on right now, right? So I said all of that to say this. I wanted you to hear the audio that I did play for you guys yesterday, but I'm going to play it again and we're going to talk a little bit about it. Um, oh, let me start with this first because it'll lead into that. Um, Melody's uh, manager uh, actually posted this picture saying that she wanted to wish her son, Eric Bellinger, a happy birthday. Now, this isn't her real son, but I guess she thinks of him as her son. And he responded back, love you. Thank you for believing in me uh, since before I even knew I had it. Okay. Uh, now, I said that. Now we can get into the video from Melody or the audio, excuse me. At first, I was like, ugh, because I was still filming. You know, I have my kids every other week. And it was just a lot going on. And at first I was like, ugh, and then I was like, all right, tell them yes, let's do it. Um, so can I tell y'all, it was, y'all know I talk about. So she was basically saying that she, you know, was on the fence about whether or not she would perform, do the concert with Eric Bellinger because, you know, she had just come off of filming, past tense. We had just finished filming. And then she said in the presence tense, I have my kids every other week. So she's still saying that that agreement is still every other week. That's how I heard it. And I wanted to make sure that I presented it to you guys. I actually told you in about two or three videos ago that someone had sent me information saying there was no changes in the custody agreement. Um, and a lot of people were very angry with that statement. And a lot of y'all left my page. But um, this is what Melody said last night. So it may actually be true. Um, and then, because again, this is all alleged. We're giving you tea that we hear from people. Um, but someone else had sent me tea on Saturday, I believe, where they said, 
they had saw Martel out with the kids. They said they saw him at the gym. And I did not post that. Um, again, this is alleged. I did not post that on Saturday, but because she was like, this is what they sent before they left. And then also that little comment she made on her um, on her live yesterday, I thought I would just share that information that there are no changes. At least that's what it looks like, allegedly. Okay. So you guys let me know what y'all think about that. Um, the final story, if it is even a story, is that Martel is supposed to be the Grand Marshal yet again. Okay. Uh, the first time he was a Grand Marshal at the Selma March, this time he's the Grand Marshal of the Atlanta Caribbean Carnival that's going to happen downtown. I guess they have several. I know there's one that's supposed to go down, I believe today, if I'm not mistaken, in DeKalb County. So this is the official one downtown. And he is going to have a brother. I was going to call him. Um, well, I'm not going to call him that. He's going to have someone he's going to share that Grand Marshal title with. And that is going to be this gentleman right here. I believe it's Lachey Model Winter, if I'm pronouncing that correctly or Lashley model winner. Um, and so y'all can let me know what y'all think about all of that in comments. Uh, I gave y'all enough tea for today. I actually have two more videos. As soon as I jump off of this one, I'll be recording for the next one. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all of it though. Uh, please hit the like, subscribe, and your notification bell. And of course, I will check you all on the next